Hey y'all, I found my first monarch caterpillar eggs. Spring is in the air. I'm seeing signs everywhere. Let's go check them out. I've got them all in their little floral tubes. Um, now I'm going to set up an enclosure and move them in. I'm still using my favorite um, super sturdy rest cloud enclosures. This is the indoor outdoor variety there, link below. And then I'm just going to put this as a little um, file holder thing I got in the office supply section of, um, I want to say TJ Maxx maybe. And it's perfect. It's the perfect size for holding my floral tubes. And the reason I like to use these is because as the caterpillars travel from one plant to another, they'll crawl along the little... Um, you know, these things. What are these called? The little walkways, <laughs> caterpillar walkways, and all of their frass will fall down below and they won't be crawling around in it. So it'll keep them even healthier. And that's what it's all about. And since I just collected these today, there's no telling how old they are. And I am going to start bleach washing again this year. And you don't want to bleach wash an egg until you know it's at least 24 hours old because they do harden some. So they're going to sit in here overnight and then tomorrow they'll get their little bleach baths. And yes, I am going to start bleach washing my eggs again. Um, I'm trying something. <laughs> I have an idea. I'm going to start running my Monarch Raising System kind of like a car wash. I'm going to bring in the eggs, bleach wash them to kill as many OE spores that are possibly on the egg as possible and the leaves that the egg is on. And then I'm going to feed them only the milkweed that I have grown inside my house in my growing room. You guys, one of my eastern black swallowtails eclosed. So I'm going to take him out of the big enclosure and put him in the little enclosure. Let him have some nectar. It's really overcast out right now. So hopefully the sun will come out in a little bit and we'll send him flying. And there's also a monarch in there that just eclosed. And then I put some of my Gatorade Nectar in there for them. So we'll check on these guys later. Hey y'all, it's Saturday night. It's been a really, really overcast day. I have done no gardening. I've done a lot of work. A lot of work on my channel. Uh, what a friend of mine would call computer work, which isn't super fun, but you know, you feel like you're getting things done. So I didn't wash those um, monarch eggs yet. I decided I wasn't sure, you know, they could have just been laid. I want to make sure they definitely get a full 24 hours. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. I've got a lot, a lot, a lot of projects I want to work on. Hopefully the sun will peak out a little bit and it'll be warmer. We are having the wackiest weather. Let me tell you, a cold front has swept through. So it's cool today. And then tomorrow, a warm front is pushing it back north. So we have a couple of days of a little bit warmer weather. And then another cold front is coming back down, I think, in the middle week. But next weekend, it's supposed to be gorgeous. So, you know, I'm just trying to get up and running. I was sick. Last weekend, I was sick in bed all weekend. And all week this week at work, it was like just go home and sleep. And I'm finally feeling better, and then we have this overcast, very dreary, not gardening friendly day. <laughs> I feel like my timing is off, but I'm going to get it together. And we're going we're to be having lots of fun videos. I have so many ideas, but I just want to take a second and come out and check in with you and say hi. And um, 
I can just do a little zoom on my garden. I st all of the plastic bags that I used to cover my garden were wet and they haven't had a good hot blazing Sunday to dry them out. There's like moisture in them. So I don't want to roll them up and put them away because you know what happens when you put things that are wet away. So they're just like piled all over my garden. It looks very messy, but I'm going to show you anyway. I'm going to show you anyway. You can see down the middle, my salvias are all filling in and growing back. I love it. And then down there, you can see my piles of bags. Isn't that attractive? Mm-hmm. There's the red trash can. Mm-hmm. I am just so ready for spring. There's my, my deciduous trees my deciduous sticks <laughs> it's gonna come back it's gonna come back oh and, oh look there's another both red trash cans got to be in the video oh i'm sure they feel special um the title of this video is signs of spring and there are a lot so also hopefully tomorrow i'm gonna go around and show you some of those also all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna go I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully next time I'm talking to you, there's going to be some blue sky and sunshine and me and some gardening going on. Hey, y'all, I'm just going to walk through my garden real quick and show you a few other little signs of spring that I found. It's so exciting. This is my sassafras tree. It is deciduous, as you can see. And it is the host plant for the spice bush, swallowtail, caterpillars, and look what we see right here. <laughs> it is already starting to put out spring growth. It's January, guys. It's January. I remember the Tithonia seeds or Mexican sunflower seeds that I planted in pots a few videos ago. Looky, looky. They're all sprouting. The sweet babies are gonna be nectared on by butterflies in my spring garden. And look right here. This is my swamp milkweed garden that I planted. And it's growing back with aphids and everything. There's another one. And another one. Guys, these two want to fly so bad. This little swallowtail is my other sign of spring because they usually stop overwintering when they think it's spring. Although I think this one came a little early. I think the other ones are gonna wait a little longer. If these butterflies are ready to go, whoop, where'd you go? Well, that swallowtail is out of here. I, I don't even think we got to see it. Like, it was gone. So, yay. Let's go get the monarch. Y'all, how awesome is that? It's going to be here before we know it. I'm going to have all kinds of caterpillars and butterflies flying all over my garden and zinnias and Mexican sunflowers and cosmos growing and milkweeds. And it's a thing, y'all, and it's coming. I'm so excited. Keep watching my channel and hang out with me through this season. And I'll see you in the next video.